is what we know for sure. The, the planet orbits the star at a distance where uh, it's in the so-called Goldilocks zone where uh, liquid water would be able to pool on the surface. We know the planet has got the proper mass to hold on to a nice substantial atmosphere like Earth. Um, it's given the ubiquity of water, it seems probable that this thing actually has liquid water. On the surface of the Earth, everywhere you have liquid water, you have life. This planet is tidally locked to its star. So it keeps the same face pointing at its star all the time, just the same way that the moon keeps its same face pointing towards the Earth. It's tidally locked to the Earth. So this planet doesn't have days and nights. It, wherever you are on this planet, the, the sun is in the same position, or the star is in the same position all the time. So it keeps one side facing towards the star, and that's fairly warm, and the other side is in perpetual night time. It was only 15 years ago that any planets were discovered at all, and we very quickly went from zero known extrasolar planets to hundreds. We're at exactly that threshold now with finding habitable planets. This is the first one, uh, but the threshold has now been crossed, and uh, over the next 10 years, uh, I would be shocked if there weren't many tens of these things.